guys? This is part four of my Machina Micro Mark III tutorial. In my last video, we covered how to create a melody and then create a song arrangement and export the song. Today, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna explore the sampling and slicing tools in Machina. If you have a question, leave it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to keep up with these tutorials as well as others I do on Music Gear. There are many ways to get a sample into Machina. You can record something from an external source like a synthesizer or even from your vinyl collection. I'm going to skip the part of actually doing the recording and instead use a sample I've already downloaded from Sounds.com. Sounds.com is a native instrument sample website. It's pretty new but they've got some cool stuff there already. I've downloaded a sound and saved it with my other loops. If you've already got a bunch of loops or samples on your computer, add that location in the Machina software so you can access them easily. Go to File, Preferences, click on Library, User, and then add the folder where you have your samples. Click on Rescan, and Machina will scan through all your files and load your samples into your user library. I have a few Loop Masters libraries, and if I go into User now, I can already filter those libraries does a pretty good job. So I'm going to look for a sample that I already have. It's a Rhodes sound, and here it is. I'm going to load that in. All right, so it's loaded into pad mode, and now we can actually slice this sample up and play it across different pads. Click the Sample Editor button in Machina Software. It's the squiggly line right here. Click on the slice section. Now in the mode below, you can select how you want Machina to slice it. If you're working with a drum sample, use detect so that it detects the transients. I'm gonna use detect on this sample and adjust the sensitivity. So you'll see that it's already sliced it up, but that's too many slices for me. I'm gonna adjust the sensitivity down to about, let's see, maybe 18. Let's see if that works. It's good to experiment here because you never know what you're going to come up with. Now the next step is to create a new group. So I can do that right here. There's my new group. Now go back to your original group and click on this, these arrow buttons here and drag that into your new group. You'll see it's created a pattern already, but let's delete that. Hit shift and clear. Now the pattern's gone. Now we have each slice on a separate pad. Press the multi-label under that group. Select all the active pads. I'm doing a Command A and put them in the same choke group. So you see the choke here, I'm selecting one. Now when you hit one pad, it'll mute any other pads that were activated. You can adjust your slices right from here and I'm gonna adjust them right now. So I'm gonna to go to the second slice click on the squiggly line and click edit. Now you see the start and end points for that slice. It plays a little bit long for my liking, so I'm just gonna adjust it a little bit. And I'm gonna end that one there. I'm gonna adjust some of the other slices as well. I just want a little bit of this. Oh, I like that. All right, I want to record this. I'm going to set my pattern length to two. It's shift and record for the count in. Let's add some drums to that just for fun. Create a new group. I'm going to go to my kits, acoustic dust kit. Let's create a pattern and set the length to four. Let's record that. Let's put some hi-hats in there. Add some toms. Pretty 
cool. Now let's go back to our sample and let's make this sound a little bit more lo-fi. Now if you recall, we've added plugins before. I'm going to add a plugin from XLN Audio called RC20 Retro Color. Now with Retro Color playing, let's hear our beat. I can make some adjustments here. Noise amount. Let's turn that metronome off. So there you go. Now you can actually even control your third party plugins right from micro. Let's see, should we add a bass line? Let's just do that for fun. Let's look for the bass sound, sidewalk bass. Okay, let's create a new pattern. Go to keyboard mode and I'm gonna put this in major. Set our pattern to eight. If you like this video, hit the like button and subscribe. Keep making the music that you love, and I will see you guys later.